everybody, it's Fem Trooper, and today we're doing a pickups video of every game I got for Christmas. I hope everybody's having a fabulous holiday. I love this time of year. You just play games, you eat everything, you just don't care, you don't even know what day it is. It is an awesome time. I was incredibly spoiled this year and got many games and gaming things for Christmas. So I really want to show them off because I'm super stoked. I love a good pickups video, who doesn't? So let's check it out. Before we get into it though, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe and remember to like this video and definitely comment below what you guys got for Christmas as well. Without further ado, Let's get into the pickups. So first up is Persona 5 Tactica and I'm really excited about this because I like strategy RPGs and I really, really enjoyed Persona 5 Royal more than I thought I would actually. So this one looks really cool. It looks cute. Everything's kind of chibi. I don't know. I'm really excited. It's definitely not my most hyped game of the year, but I'm excited to play it. I've heard actually pretty good things from it. People are like, yeah, it's pretty solid. So it's definitely one that I'm hoping to get to uh, within the new year. The next one is a mouthful. Okay, Infinity Strash, Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Dai. <laughs> I got it. Despite this getting mixed reviews from people, anybody I've actually asked that played it said it was really good, which is the reason why I asked for it for Christmas because I thought, I don't know, everyone seems to actually like it. It seems good. I realize that it doesn't tell the entire story of the anime, but overall, everyone's like, yeah, it was a good time and it's not very long. So for me, that sounds good in my books. I'm excited to check it out. It's Akira Toriyama, it's Dragon Quest. I mean, it seems like a really fun time. So I am all there. Here is one that I was waiting a long time for because it came out in October, but I decided to save it for Christmas. And that is Marvel's Spider-Man 2. I am so excited for this. It looks incredible. It's kind of like everything I want from a Spider-Man game. It's both Spider-Man characters. You got Peter Parker, you got Miles Morales, Venom is in it. I am like really excited for this. I think it's gonna be my next PS5 game. So I'm, I'm really, really hyped for this one. Another one that I was kind of debating the entire year on whether I wanted to play it or not. Is it for me? Is it not for me? I don't know. And then I finally decided on it because too many people have said it's great. Some people are like, this is phenomenal. And I, you know, I take their word for it. So that is Hogwarts Legacy. It looks really good. PS5, it's gonna look fantastic. It's, I don't know. I'm really excited about this. Like I said before in another video, I'm not like the biggest Harry Potter fan or anything like that but this looks really good. It's supposed to be in the past, so you don't have to really know tons, and it doesn't obviously spoil Harry Potter for you. So I am really excited. It looks really good. It's an RPG. It kind of seems like everything I love, and it just looks whimsical and fun, and I do know the universe well enough that I think I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna dig it. Here's one I'm really excited about because it's a game that came out in August, but the physical came out in Japan this month, and that is Sea of Stars. And I know that North America is apparently getting an official release physically, but I mean, this is pretty awesome. It's a special edition. I'm not into stuff like that. I could care less about collector's editions, but this looks really cool. I'm excited. And I, again, this is a game that I've really only heard good things about. So it's, you know, an indie JRPG playing, you know, homage to like Chrono Trigger and games of the past. And I love 16-bit looking games, like, come on, like, this is just kind of everything I want here. So I am super pumped for this. I cannot wait. Uh, yeah, these, just super stoked about everything here. So let's keep going. <laughs> this next one is one that I wanted the most for Christmas. So yay, I got it. And that is Super Mario RPG, of course. I mean, this is one of my favorite games of all time on the Super Nintendo. And what I predict is that this will overtake it only in the sense that it's not about looks because I really do like the original look of the Super Nintendo version and I love the feeling, I love the memories, but a, re a good remake that I can play now that has better quality of life features, whatever. Not that this is that bad, like the Super Nintendo version is actually pretty easy. It's still not that long. It's, it's a great game, but I just feel like this will probably overtake it just due to the fact that I can play a portable, I can, you know, beat it faster, whatever. This looks really good and I'm just excited to kind of relive those memories because this is one of the first 
JRPGs I ever played. I even remember going to Roger's video as a kid with my grandma and seeing like a big cardboard standee of it and like getting so excited, renting it as like a seven year old and just being super, super excited and not really knowing exactly what was going on, but knowing I was playing something special. And I was playing something special. It's a really cool game. So super, super excited to play this. This will be my next Switch game, like for sure. Another one that I've actually been incredibly excited for and I got it and that is Star Ocean, the second story R. This is going to be amazing. Again, everybody is saying it's great. I'm really excited. And I know this is like the, you know, 15,000th remake of it, but it's for me, it's gonna be my first time playing it. I'm excited. I actually think the art style is phenomenal, like really gorgeous. I love this whole HD 2D thing going on with games lately. And I have to say, this one in particular looks really, really good because it kind of has more realistic looking backgrounds, but with like 16 bit looking characters, like it just looks really neat. So I'm excited. And the other reason I'm really excited is because I just played the Divine Force and that was my first Star Ocean game. Thought it was great. And so now I'm like more Star Ocean, please. So I'm very excited. This is definitely one I'm going to be playing very soon. I am very excited. The next two games are ones I actually got as a Secret Santa gift from my friend Ruben. I'm so excited. It's a Secret Santa that I actually organized with a bunch of friends. So here we go. The first game is Eastward, which is one I actually didn't ask for. We all had wish lists and this was not on my wish list, but I will say it's one that I've wanted to kind of check out and I've been intrigued about. It's not a game I know tons about, but a lot of people say it's kind of like Earthbound. And so I immediately am excited about that. So I want to check it out. What do you know about Eastward? Because it's not a game I know tons about, but I've heard it's good. So kind of all I know, but it has like a modern day setting. It looks really interesting, beautiful, beautiful art style. So. Um, yeah, this is one that I'm actually excited about now. So it was kind of neat to get a surprise actually. <laughs> this next one is one that I realize a lot of people are gonna be like, gross, why did you want that? This was actually on my wish list. And that is for Spoken. Honestly, it's because so many people didn't like it for various reasons that I need to play it for myself. I've actually heard from different people that it's not as bad as people say. It's actually kind of enjoyable that the main character is also dreadful, but the gameplay is fun. I just wanna know. And guess what? If I play it, which I will, I will do a review. I will tell you my honest opinions. If it's garbage, I will say it's garbage. So let's find out all together. Okay, this last pickup was a big, exciting one, and I'm very excited to show it. And I'm also very excited to say that so far it is great. And that is the PlayStation Portal. It's quite a long box here. Uh, this is really great and I think it's going to be a game changer for me. So I can show it here. So this is the portal. Um, there you go. It is quite big and I was worried that it was gonna feel uncomfortable, but guess what? It doesn't. This is really nice. I mean, you're playing with a PS5 controller just cut in half. No, you can't take them off like the Switch Joy-Cons. That's okay. If you could, it would be phenomenal to me because then I could use it on the treadmill, but that's okay. I'm really liking this. I set it up last night and wow, I am actually really in love with it. It's really cool. I can play my PS5 anywhere now. Like this is great. So very exciting stuff. I haven't tried it at like other people's houses and stuff like that yet because I literally just opened it, but like our Wi-Fi is really good here and it looks great. I turned it on and it was like, whoa, this looks amazing. It looks really good. So I I'm only saying good things about it so far. I'm sure there's some negatives, whatever, nothing's perfect, but I really, really like it. I think it's comfortable. It actually looks quite nice. And I can, I, I guarantee you, I'm going to beat more PS5 games now because I have this. So those are my pickups this year from Christmas. I haven't done a pickups video in a long time, but I thought, man, I just picked up a whole bunch of games. Let's talk about them. I'm super excited. A good old pickups video is fun, kind of old school, and I enjoy them. So let me know, like, what did you guys get for Christmas? What games have you picked up in the month of December? Tell me in the comments below. And of course, as always, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.